Alright, welcome back guys. My name is D and today we're gonna go over the white smith or master smith class finally so we're gonna do a couple of videos on transcendent classes of ragnarok online this will be the first one i'm making so today i have three builds for you uh first one is pretty much the standard hybrid white white smith or uh, master smith build if you run into anyone that that is experienced with the Master Smith class, this is probably gonna be the build that they're gonna uh, give you. So you always get 99 strength. The reason for that is you can get bonuses just by having Hilt Binding and Crazy Uproar when they are active. And then you get 48 decks. You can probably get more, like 48, uh, 58 decks just for the additional hit i don't really uh recommend it unless you plan on like mvping a lot against high flea um, mvps so keep it at 48 and then for agi and vit so these two are very dependent on your playstyle. uh for me i generally like to go more vit but uh this build is generally like kind of like an agi uh vit hybrid and with this build, you can easily hit um, 187.5 attack speed. That is with no food. Okay, that's just with blessing and increase agi. So for um, the Master Smith class, your main damage output will be high speed cart ram or cart termination, depending on what server you're on. So, um, in the past, uh, there were discussions on what's the best attack speed for like Mammonite, high speed cart ram, and general consensus was 186. Uh, for me, I like to go a little bit lower, like 183. I like getting 183 instead of 186 because I have like faster fingers, I can like uh, spam it pretty fast. Uh, but 186 is generally optimal if you want to get 186 So with this build you have two Medal of Honors uh, variant shoes uh, Usually always go variant shoes unless you want to get um, Diabolus set the boots and Manchu and I'll explain why I don't get the set in my third build because that's actually the build I use the third one so for the weapon, you always go Orcish Axe plus 10 and 4 Zipper Bear cards. Zipper Bear cards are mainly plus 30 um, attack, which is your main damage source for high speed card to ram. So the other gear is pretty much up to you. I don't really want to dabble much into that. Let's get into the second build. Okay, so for this one, um, it's actually uh, a build I used in the past. It's really good for uh, PVM if you don't want to woe, unless you have like an orc, um, hero, sunnies, or mid, mid headgear, then this build would be awesome. So the great thing about this build if, is if you put 10 agi foods, it hits 180. So imagine this damage output, very similar damage output to the first one, but more. Plus you can even just like manually hit them to death if you want to. The only downside with this build is of course your stun immunity. And just one main point I wanna show is the Orcus Axe is something, um, is the default uh, weapon for master smiths but if you if you're like rich and you can't afford I would recommend getting the combat knife and upgrading it to full um, capacity or strength remove weapon cards and what move weapon cards there you go so once you have that you'll you'll notice that your attack speed drops but the reason for that is um, combat knives 
don't activate with uh, the adrenaline rush skill. So you need full adrenaline rush, which you get from soul linkers. You just get them to link you, and then you can get back to that 190 attack speed with combat knife. So this weapon is pretty much the highest damage output you can get with full adrenaline rush. So if you want to take down like those beefy units, equip the combat knife, take them down. Should be pretty easy. You can also use the ice pick for like um, paladins, like people you know that have high defense. So you can do that too. So your main weapons are Orgus Axe, um, Combat Knife, and Ice Pick. Alright, so for the third build, it's something that um, a lot of people ask me. It's mainly the build I use for like my past videos. And this is pretty much how it is. Um, so basically my main weapon back then for this build is a Double Lord of the Dead Double Doppelganger Axe. So this build, as you're seeing, it's pretty similar but low agi. The reason for that is my build for the white whitesmith back then was more utility. It's more on like burning armor, burning weapons, getting into the um, enemy land protector, and then either cart revolution or magnum break, and just burning their stuff. So. The thing with this build is you, ha you have to have access to like Ghost Ring and um, Deviling Armor because it's gonna hurt if you get Acid Bombed with this bit. So I believe they can uh, pretty much one shot you if they're max int on the uh, Biochemist but almost if they if you have the combat knife equipped so if you don't know lord of the dead is a card that actually spreads all kinds of status plus coma so with this build i can hit 190 attack speed even though i have low agi due to the double du double gear cards plus i only need to equip one medal of honor and I have a utility slot for either Hide, Magnum Break, or Sight. And uh, the equipment I use is pretty much standard Woe stuff, Demi Human Resist, Feather Beret. Um, I use Blush of Gloom, I think, and then Gentleman's Pike. And then Valk Shield, Valk Armor, just switch it between armors. And then I use a Valk Valkyrian Manchu. So this is basically for reflecting uh, asura strikes so you can probably argue just to get like a diabolus set just for more hp but i like reflecting stuff because back in our server i was pretty much the main target for like asura strikes so it really depends on your like guild uh, use if you guys need someone to jump in tank or whatever but you can pretty much swap this out for anything you need so it's very uh this build is very situational but yeah the only thing i don't like about this build is valkyrian armor wrecks it because back in the day um when i used to play master smith we didn't really have access to valkyrian armor like it was very rare that people hunted it so we didn't, they didn't really have that so i just burned all the crap and it was pretty awesome so yeah that's pretty much um the video guys if you have any questions just put it in the comment section below and if you're looking for a blacksmith build i'll put it somewhere uh there upper right i think <laughs> or upper left whatever it'll just show on the screen and yeah, if you can thumbs up the video, greatly appreciate it. And see you guys in the next one.